for years, I've said that Warframe is a game designed to be cheesed. I'm sure many people are nodding their heads at that statement, while some others feel the need to protest. So to back it up, here's some of the cheesiest cheeses that have ever cheesed in Cheeseframe. I'm Nick Engineer, let's solve a practical problem. To be clear on cheese, there are a lot of ways to make things easy or even trivial in Warframe. However, cheese, at least on the level of this video, is an option that's fundamentally simple and yet absurdly effective at what it does. I'm not saying there's any requirement to play this way, I'm simply showcasing what you can do when you don't feel like playing fair with a grenier. Opening with the start of the alphabet, this is one for anyone who struggles with steel path junctions or simply doesn't want to deal with them. Ash is the poster boy of edgy anime ninja assassins and taking out a single high value but exposed target is literally his thing. Step 1. Mod Ash with the Augment Fatal Teleport, and then otherwise Strength. You don't need to build for anything other than Strength for this to work, but I'm showing you a build which allows you to use Fatal Teleport in a reasonable manner in normal gameplay too. Step 2. Equip a weapon built for finisher kills. Here we're just going to go all out on one slow yet heavy hitting choice, the Kuva Shield Deck. The damage type on the build mostly doesn't matter, as the finisher will change it all into true damage anyway. Again, this build I'm showing you here allows you to use the hammer as a hammer in ordinary missions alongside doing fatal teleports, while still having all the damage you need to cheese the junction. For normal missions, the corrosive damage makes it more effective against acolytes which aren't affected by fatal teleport. And then step 3, enter the junction and teleport behind them. It's nothing personnel. There are two spectres that consistently take a second brain cell to defeat this way though. The Rhino Spectre on the Mercury Junction casts Iron Skin immediately at the start of the fight. To beat this one, just wait for their health to stop being grey and then remove their spine. The other one is the Mesa Spectre on the Eris Junction. For some reason, this one always goes down but needs to be double tapped to be killed. Either hit it with the hammer or shoot it with anything worthwhile. This might be a bug, so if this doesn't happen to you, enjoy your discount cheese. Looking to a different kind of cheese, rather than a one-shot build, we can use a no-shot build. That is, the enemies involved hear no shots at all. The Mastery Rank 9 and 19 tests require you to be stealthy, using melee only and no abilities in order to take our enemies without ever being detected. Now you can absolutely do that properly with enemy radar, tracking their positions and just sensible gameplay. Or you could be Banshee. Equipping Banshee with the Redeemer and just some basic damage mods is enough to cheese this easily. Banshee's passive is that all of her attacks are permanently silenced to enemies, meaning she can fire off gunblade shots with them all none the wiser. Don't go into this unmodded though, as you do need at least some damage, otherwise you'll leave the target alive and alert, failing the challenge. I still recommend having enemy radar mods on Banshee to make it all as easy as possible. For MR9, work your way through the enemies one by one and still stick to using cover. For the MR19 test, just snipe all 12 enemies from afar and then rescue the operative. It may take a couple shots, but you can get them all from the starting platform. Easy cheesy. For our third cheese frame, I'm sure many of you watching this will know him by now, but still definitely worth talking about. Whether you're running mobile defense or a corporate spy mission, Limbo can cheese them hard. In spy missions, Limbo can simply pop out of this dimension and walk through laser grids without tripping them, all the while invulnerable to normal enemy attacks. When it comes to the cameras, Limbo can use Cataclysm to detonate a whole area, removing those pesky scanners instantly. In a mobile defense mission, or other objective defense, Limbo can combine Cataclysm and Stasis to make all normal enemies completely incapable of attacking the objective and Limbo. Ones outside the bubble cannot shoot inside, as you are in a different dimension, and the ones inside the bubble get frozen in place, unable to act. Did I mention you don't need any specific build to do this? You can add range for a bigger bubble, or add duration for longer stasis, but overall, the cheese just exists. Slipping into Limbo's rift plane is his passive and can be maintained indefinitely. That's infinite cheese. There is only one downside to Limbo's cheese. Certain units, notably Xmas units, can attack across the rift and are immune to stasis. A Narsan Xmas can ruin Limbo's day pretty quickly. That said, dealing with a couple heavy units far outweighs having to deal with an entire mission, and you can just run past the Xmas units in Spy Vaults. On that note, you know who else can innately and easily pass through security without a care in the world? Wukong. 
Wukong so high up the cheese ladder, he's dominating the Warframe usage chart put out by DE Pablo. Wukong's Cloud Walker might be one of the cheesiest abilities in the game. While active, you are invisible, intangible, with full three-dimensional flight at a pace significantly faster than normal movement speed. This makes him able to just sail through capture missions regardless of terrain. He can slip into almost any spy vault with no care in the world even easier than Limbo. He can cheese Oricon Tower puzzles just as much as Titania. He heals himself while flying, removes status effects, and should you somehow mess this up, he even cheeses death. The only problem with Wukong's cheese is almost everyone knows it, and plenty of people already use it extensively. So to wrap things up for you, I've got a frame that isn't quite as broadly overpowered, but through a combination of skills is perhaps the cheesiest cheese in Warframe. That cheese is Avara. Do you want to farm stealth affinity in scans for Samaris? Ivara can put enemies to sleep, which even resets their alert status if they wake up. Do you need extra damage against high priority targets? Well, while invisible, Ivara gains bonus damage on headshots, which themselves already got buffed recently. Do you want to be unseen for nearly an hour? Ivara's Prowl is a toggle ability which can be reduced down to just one energy every four seconds while stationary. Add on energy or pickups and this can be indefinite invisibility. Would you like to perhaps bring an explosive weapon to weapon restricted sorties? One with no self knockback and no damage fall off? Ivara's concentrated arrow will do the trick. How about capturing animals perfectly without having to use the trank rifle to hit them? Again, Ivara's AoE sleep arrow will do that for you. Do you want to bypass all security and spy vaults? Infiltrate allows you to do that invisibly. How about give your team invisibility and total status immunity? The Empowered Quiver Cloak Arrow has you and your allies covered, with the option for extra powerful crits on top of this. If you're looking to one-shot bosses like Archons and Kuva Liches, well, Ivara's my go-to to make this easy mode. These enemies still can't figure out invisibility. Oh, and speaking of boss fights, if you really want to show a new Tenno that Warframe is definitely a game designed to be cheesed, bring Ivara with you to their first proper assassination fight, the Jackal on Fossa. New players would normally be running around the arena, dodging attacks, trying not to get hit by the laser walls at each stage, all of that. With Ivara, you can just jump into the air and set up a dash wire, allowing you and anyone else in the squad to perch above the Jackal. Sure, you can fly above the Jackal solo with Titania, or just tank the damage with other Warframes, but Ivara truly brings the cheese by allowing a whole squad to jump out of harm's way in a boss fight. Like I said, Warframe is a game designed to be cheese. You can go about it dozens of different ways, but the ones I've shown you here take the concept and really run with it. So take your pick and see just how absurd it can get for you. That's all from me for now though, so a shout out and thanks to those of you who support me on Patreon, subscribe on Twitch, and are members here on YouTube. And as always, build frames, cheese missions, and fight well, Tenno. Cheese.